Então, I guess he it, doesn't have a response to that. Oh, we were muted. He, well, what's your response? And my lightsaber was broken. Uh -oh. Have you seen the Mandalorian on? on, on yes, yeah, so I only have like two more episodes to finish the, the first series. Oh, and they just yesterday they came out with number uh, season two, number one. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're trying to finish yeah. season one, right? Everybody loves Baby Yoda. Watch one a day oh. and catch up on one. Mm -hmm. I won't be right on. How do I look? Uh, silly. Good, good view, good view of your nose. Oh. Still silly. What time is it, Neil? I don't know. Hold on. Six oh five. 6.05 inside the Florida. 9.05. It's 9.05 for five. him. He lives in Florida. I think I know what time is. I think I can read a clock. It's 9.05. Where are you guys? The wieners are in California. California. Uh -huh. Where in California? Where in California are they, Neely? I have no idea. I'm just guessing. Oh, okay. I they were on the last Zoom. Like, they're like local friends. I'm guessing, yes. Of Harley's. They've traced the call. It's coming from inside the house. There you Get go. Out. Don't pick up the phone. It's coming from inside the house. Yes. Oh. Super tired. Got some young voters, some first time voters in, in South Florida. That was cool. I applaud people. I also applaud moms and grandmothers who said they got every single person in their family to vote. That's oh good. Ah. The event is starting now. Okay, good. You are much creepier in the dark. Welcome to the virtual premiere of Halloween Quarantine, a new short film from Harley J, the director of Virus the Movie, and here. Well, now let's welcome our host and the director of Halloween Quarantine, Harley J. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the virtual premiere of Halloween quarantine. Okay, so before we, sh we show you guys the film, we have a few things in store for you. Let me just quickly give you a schedule of tonight. We're going to start with me talking, thanking people and everything. Then we're going to go straight to, well, the red carpet. As you can see, we have the red carpet behind us. After that, um, we're going to go straight to um, you guys seeing the film. Um, it might be a little um, glitchy when you guys see the film, but yeah. Um, and then after that, we're going to go straight to um, raffle, then Q&A. You are all entered to the raffle. Um, some of the people entered in the raffle, some of the people who are repeated are not here tonight. So basically someone might win that's not here. They will get the gift, the gift card. And it's a real raffle, it's, um, raffle. it's 88, $84 on the line. But basically- <laughs> Hey, I think it has to go to people who are here. Uh -huh. Okay, let's start off the show. So I first want to thank a few people for helping me on this film. First, thing, first person I want to thank is myself for coming up with this idea and making an amazing film. And okay, second thing, I, second person I want to thank is my mom, who um, well, Sue Ellen, who, who um, was the actress for Willa. And it really, um, oh, um, none of you guys have to record with your camera. Um, this will all, you guys will all be sent the recording of this. You might not, you might notice we're recording right now. But basically, okay. I want to thank my mom for being a part of this project. And well, yeah. And then after that, I just want to thank um, my dad, who is take, who is the paparazzi right now, um, and who just believed in me and gave us hope. So yeah, next, um, I think one of the last people I want to thank is, well, um, Milo Stein, who was one of the producers on this. Um, he made this possible for Dream City, um, so we could add this to our um, company, um, Dream City. And so thank you, Milo Stein, um, even though, so yeah. Let's um, start with the red carpet. I'm gonna call out my mom, Sue Ellen. Come out here, mom. Mom. Did you mute? Okay, he 
here we go. She will an iron binder. Here she is. Whoa. Nice red carpet dress. No. No. Whoa. Lamb. So, so the first question I'm going to quickly interview my mom. What was your favorite part about shooting the film? What was your favorite memory? What happened on set? My favorite memory on set. I think my favorite was going through the box of clothing, and you'll learn about that in a minute. Yeah. Who are you wearing? Who are you wearing? My least favorite memory was taking direction from my son, the director. What? You're fired. You're fired. Get off this stage. No. Oh, we we, we need to know fired. who she's wearing. She looks great. Okay, so, um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the film. Um, I basically just choked because I was eating popcorn and I yelled. So I kind of in a way choked. Um, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's first, um, I first want to just say um, this film is a little scary. Um, it's, it has different effects on different people. Some people it's been, it's been really scary for. Some people it's been not scary at all for them. Um, so please um, just know if you get scared really likely, um, you might want to just maybe turn the volume down or whatever helps you. Um, cause this is, cause for some people, this is the scariest film in the world. Um, and for some people it's not scary at all, but it's, like, it's, so, it's a little bit comedic for some people. So basically let's, um, let's roll the film. Roll. Okay. Here we go. Go. like I'm wearing this. What's that? Who's there? Uh, what was that? That's it. I'm calling the cops. Oh, shoot. They don't work on Halloween. Give me Halloween, give me Halloween, give me Halloween. Ugh, this is not gonna work. Help. Help. Oh, I'll do it myself.
There's no one here. Quarantine. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, but we're not finished right now. We first have um, our raffle to do, then we have the QA. So, the let's start this with this. So, um, basically, the winner of this is um, a whole week, so three days worth of um, food for um, their dinner. So, basically, um, Green Chef is the coupon. We, we this is the winner gets a green chef coupon and basically a green chef coupon basically what green chef does is they basically will give you you choose a few days of the week and they give you the vegetables and the fruits vegetables the cookies all the different treats you and things you need to make the dinner for that um week so that's cool all you so if you get this you get a whole week's worth of well it's it's an 84 dollar value value See, basically, if you win this, um, basically everything, all the information on here will get sent to your inbox, or you will receive it in the mail. Um, and basically, this has all the information of how to claim your prize. But let's see who wins wins this prize. Let's hope someone, the person who wins, is actually in the Zoom game. Uh, and maybe everyone will win. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I'm going to close my eyes. Mom, cover my eyes. Oh wait, you're fired. Leave me alone. She's what? I said she's fired, remember earlier? Don't tell me what to do. Uh-huh. Is that numbers in there or okay, popcorn? We got it. We have one. All right, let's see who this is. Try again. Okay. Try again. <laughs> this is fortune cookies? Okay, we got one. Now this what says, Neil, you win. All right, thank you. I'm hungry now. Neil, you, will, you, will, you will receive this and you'll be able to create an account and order your thing and you get it all free. Boom. Thank you. Okay, so let's start the Q and A. So um, basically how this is gonna work. Um, Can we just ask you, questions? Yeah, you just raise your hand and we, and then we'll call on you and so yeah. Neil, what is your question? So what inspired this film? I really don't know. I don't remember. Um, I think it was just, um, yeah, well, it was Halloween. It was first Halloween. I was thinking that I knew that Halloween would be basically canceled this year because we can't go trick or treating. We can't do any of the things kids would do or adults would do on Halloween because it's quarantine. And then I was like, what if I make a horror film about Halloween and quarantine? So I decided, to, I just came up with the name Halloween Quarantine. And then I just started. Um, writing a script and then, and basically that was it. So Eli, what's your question? I'm gonna mute.
Why did you decide to make a fun and scary Halloween commercial in the with the pandemic and Halloween combined together? So, like I said, I was thinking that, well, it started off one day, I was talking to my friends and, and they and they said, like, or I don't remember who, but someone's brought up the idea that Halloween would be canceled. And I realized that I, that probably because of what, what would happen, and this was like back in like early September, like this, the whole film was finished around the end of September. No, it wasn't August. Well, actually I started writing the script in August and everyone was talking about how Halloween would, might ha get canceled. Not too many people because it was August, but some people were talking about how Halloween might get canceled. So I decided to make, to do something, writing up people's spirits and just, well, try to, and um, just <laughs> fire and bomb. I basically tried to say, here, here's a whole cool um, horror film. It's not a commercial. It doesn't, it, the reason it says um, commercial is one of the songs we used it's called com Happy Commercial. I don't know why. But basically, I decided to make this because I knew Halloween would be canceled. I could just, basically, I could see the future. I couldn't, but I, I predicted that. So basically, that's the reason. So it, where, did, where did you find your lead actress? She's amazing. She looked really good on the red carpet. <laughs> Very impressive red carpet and performance. Even a producer you. Can see a little bit with the head lead actress. I'm like who? Who are you, you wearing? How we found her is. Do you want to ask me anything? Well, I didn't wear it. We'll go. To you in a few minutes. Let's start. Why did you trip when you were walking to the door? Was it a ghost Wait, that pushed you? Let me turn the volume up a little. Say that again. Why oh. did you trip when you're walking to the door? Was it a ghost that knocked her down, Harley? Um, why did she trip when she was walking? Or was she just a klutz? Why did I trip? Um, I don't remember when she trips. I don't remember she trips? My belly. Oh, that. Yeah. Um, Tell me about it. That was not fun. A ghost pushed her down, and that was really not fun. We had to train her in stunts. <laughs> That was a ghost. It was supposed to be a ghost. So, so there were no stunt actors available. You had to do. You did no. your own stunts. I should have had you as a manager. That would have been a great idea. You did your own stunts. I mean, okay. you and Tom Cruise. Do you want to know how much I got paid for it? Do you want to know how much my role? I don't know. <laughs> I want to know who you're wearing on the red carpet. You look it, excellent. No one, no one offered us any money. We couldn't figure out any way to get money, so we couldn't pay anyone anything. Sometimes you just put it here. You got somebody's getting paid in popcorn. I didn't get any popcorn sent to me. That would be I a didn't get really any nice touch next time. So maybe I can use the eighty-four dollars for popcorn instead of vegetables. I think no, but it comes with cookies <laughs> sometimes in different bars and different things. But basically, the film that inspired me. Um, Mom, you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> the film Jeez. that inspired me. Well. I think it was actually, I literally don't know. Um, I was um, working on a TV show that, I, that I'm not allowed to talk about, but I'm working on a TV show. It's a little, it's a horror thing. But I wanted to bring it, to, but since it got shut down for quarant during quarantine, I wanted to bring something more to life. And I was working on some horror films, so I decided to make this. So basically inspired a TV show I was working on, inspired me to do this. Um, Weiner, Weiner Family. So in the very beginning, it was that sign that said Halloween quarantine mm -hmm. on it. How did that sign get on the door? And was the act or was the character surprised to see it there? Like, did she not know that there was no. something there? Well, she was kind of- Good question. She basically, so in the film we had, we tried to make it look like it was like a sticky note mounted to the wall because that's what it was. But the wall is a certain texture that doesn't let us stick it. So we had to actually tape it on there so it doesn't look like a sticky note. Basically, the purpose there is to say, okay, um, this character got put a reminder of that it's Halloween and it's Halloween and quarantine. So she had it there, and that's kind of what happens. Was it I surprised? Um, a little bit surprised. Did um, I seem surprised? Yeah, but you screamed when you saw it. That was the first beginning. That's the second part. In the, in the beginning, we go to Ghost House, then we say two out two hours earlier, and then we go to what minor what the minor family is talking about. Um, any more questions? How was it? How was it working with the lead actress? Was she? Was she? she a good? bit of a prima donna. 
Did she respond to you well? Or was I don't know it... how I was to work with, Cameron. I'll explain. <laughs> no, no, seriously, how I mean, Harley? How is it to work with your mom? Was it was it was it kind it's, of cool? I've done it many times. It's the first time I did it. It was kind of hard. I, we had to change up the whole. My mom wanted me to change up, change the whole story, but that was like well, that was like seven months ago. It was it was like the first month of the quarantine. It was five or six, like seven months ago, I think. Basically, it was a film called Virus the Movie, which some of you have probably seen. I saw it. So that film, we ha we we were originally gonna make it like the villain actually is a villain, but we but my mom m forced me to change it, which actors, she's not a high quality actor. Which means, well, she's. Oh, she, she, I thought she did a better job than you. I don't you mean by that. Is, do you want me to be in any one of your shows? I I mean like mom. I mean like she basically. You're not a high paid actor, you have You're right, I'm not paying bumpkins. <laughs> it's not easy to be an actor. When you're not paying the actors, you have to treat them really extra well. You know, you, you do multiple yeah. takes. Yeah, okay. you need to be patient. You know, was there craft services? You know, yeah. I mean, yeah. what kind of, what did she okay. get? Does she have her own trailer? <sighs> we can't afford that. This you is my guys. family. <laughs> okay, oh, here boy. you go. Um, okay, but it was a little hard. So since I've gotten used to working with mom. But I kind of you know. I have to I have to add to that one really uh, I'm not sure the right adjective to describe it one really fun thing that, that one day we were driving in the car about a couple of weeks ago three or four weeks ago all three of us and Harley was having a hard time with the concept of we're still in quarantine because we all have those yeah, moments right it was really hard it, was it hard. is and it comes and it goes and I said if we could do one thing what would it be and he said he wanted to film anywhere other than his house with anybody other than his parents. So, so that's why I wrote a script for a new short film. So if any of you want to be in the next show, in the park, how long, asked, how long we can manage that. To, uh, from the concept through post-production to tonight, how long did it take to create the film? It did not. No, literally, we. I started writing. It didn't like so quickly. I, no, I started the, writing the film in August and okay. I told you about the, about the script. Um, well, I first came up with the concept around the beginning of August. Then finally, around the middle of August, I started writing the script, which then at the, around the end of, about around actually like the middle of September, I wasn't finished with the script yet, but I showed my mom it. And, we, and then once I finished, I, um, I did, um, well, I tried to get money for it. I couldn't, I showed people the script and had, got feedback on it. Then I, and then by, by, by three quarters in the way of um, September, we we started shooting. We um we were supposed we were aiming for well, a, one day we would shoot, then the next day we would shoot, and then we would be finished. Um, we had a, one extra scene that we actually had to cut out, but we couldn't. Well, we had to. Sorry, we had to cut out. Um, is there a blooper <laughs> reel? Are you going to show bloopers? <laughs> yeah, we forgot. That would be me on the that's a great That's idea. Fun to see. Yeah, I'd like to see that stunt again and again. Yes, lovely, lovely. That was well done. <laughs> no, yes, me. I think I actually refused at the end. So, so um, I have one last question. In your opinion, mm -hmm. I have two questions for you. Do you think that you work fast or slow, or just in the middle? I think. I thought you were fast. Well, in the first step, the writing of the script and concept, that is the slowest part for me. I like. I'm working on a feature film right now. I'm writing the script. It's taking me so long. Okay. And it's well, that's okay though, so, right? yeah, but for writing the script, I'm not the best writer. And then for everything else, I think I go really quickly. I think I do last like, question. Yeah. Are you happy with your final product? Of course I am. Please. So, yeah. All right. I love it. So any more questions? Uh, I was wondering about your choice uh, to go with a nonlinear structure. A nonlinear what? A nonlinear structure. Now, what do you mean by structure? That? Right. So instead okay. of like this happens and this happens and this happens, Mr. we went oh, part way and then it was, like two hours earlier. So now it's post. Um, so I had a question about everywhere. that creative choice. Hey, Rex. And basically, hey. the reason I decided to do that was because I basically started started reading a book in book in my book clubs at school, and mm -hmm. I just and the book in the beginning it started off kind of like that. It was about the San Francisco earthquake and it basically started with our fictional character in the beginning. And, and, and it's like, and he's in the earthquake. He wakes up at 5 a.m. in the morning and he's in the earthquake. Then uh -huh. we basically cut. Come in here. Then we basically uh, go back in the book 20 hours earlier. 
So that's why we I have flashed back. Can we see it again? So this is not long. Rex and Hannah. No, just it's going to be posted. It's already well, posted. I mean, if, if you want to do it after, I yes, don't want to. Just want stop. one more quick red carpet and one more screening. Okay, we can do that. No, we're going to do. We're going to do. We can do it. We can do it. Hi, Hannah. Hannah. Hi, Rex. Uh, hey. Hey, guys. Hey, Ray. Right. Okay, so there's popcorn, there's ice cream, there is nothing the for me. Carpet. On the red carpet? Yeah, you guys can't see it, but right here there's a sign that says retro premiere now. Okay, mom, get ready. It's time for the for red carpet. She was in earlier, he's like pushing her away. We're all asking. Mm -hmm. uh, Woohoo! You look great, Sue. Right, right, mm -hmm. a flash thing to go off. What? Let's take the pictures. Okay, now you can look. Video. Oh, nice. taking a picture. Thought it would be a, a nice yeah. effect. So, mom, hit the screen, and we're gonna. Actually, you know what? We got it. I think, I think we ran it once. We can show you guys if you want to stay after. Yeah, do you guys want to see it? Yeah, play it again. Yeah. The film comes out, the film actually came out at 12, 15 um, p.m., the beginning of the day, well, 15 minutes at, before, after the day started, Pacific time, so basically 12, 15 this morning, um, it came out, so. I liked, uh, I did like uh, the music choice. Yeah, I composed some of the music. I was gonna say that too, That's, that, that really grabbed me. What, what was the mood you were trying to get with the music? Was Very the creepy. creepy? So yeah. the that was the second horror film I've ever created. The first one um, came out. It's already it's about at a thousand views, and it basically it wasn't the best film ever. In, no, here. So basically, that film didn't do well. It's do, it's my best film, but it's not the best in quality, so it's not too scary. So I wanted to get a go at that again. So yeah. Always a work in progress. Yeah. Mom. The more the more you write, the stronger you'll get at that part. Mm -hmm. I think you know somebody who who helps people write. Yeah. Who would possibly be persuaded? Are you gonna do it again? Can we oh. see it again or not? Yeah, um, my mom's getting it ready. Yeah, basically how we're managing it is this is actually her computer. My computer is in the other room. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. Well, she's Did got a crew. She's got a red carpet. She we only have three minutes left. Let me get this going. Hold on. Yeah, you guys, you won't be able to finish the, the um I'm looking the film it. because actually, no, mom, I have. You set the zoom up for thirty minutes. Here it is. I got it. No, it's an automatic no, mom, forty. Make, make the host. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Wait, how do I get it back to the beginning? Um, there yeah, we go. Just click running out of time. Click it. Click. Yeah. On mute. And I'll just make. All right. Quiet. Quiet. I can hear it. I didn't start it yet. Well, then press play. Hold on one second. Um, Which one is me? It's red carpet cam. Okay. Make host. Perfect. Are you sure Make that that works though for the time? Yes. All right. So can I play it from here? Yes. Okay. Just press play. You know it ain't triangle. Me, I'll hush up. The triangle right there. Wait, it's on in the background. I don't know how to go to it. Um, if that, everyone could do us a favor and put you, their email in the chat so we can send everyone an email. We have um, everybody's emails. No, not everyone's. Can you, if everyone could just put their emails in the chat, that would be nice. Um, That's it. I'm calling the cops. I don't know how to get back to I it. I wish I could see the video. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know how to get back to it. We have less than one minute left. Everyone put their... Give me Send it to me, Harley. You've got my you've got my email. You rock. Okay, we got our email. We are ending the meeting now. Everyone, I am sorry to say this is 
Love you all. Thank